coincidence seeing you guys here. But Martin, we've been waiting in that bush for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, forget it, Martin. Not on your life. Oh, come on, Jenny. Why won't you go out with me? What do other guys have that I don't? Where to start? Other guys aren't messy. Their clothes aren't wrinkled. They don't have stains on stains on stains. Oh, and they don't hang out with freaks. Hey! Oh, great. So I'll pick you up at eight? Okay, Martin. Hypothetically, if you were going to pick me up tonight, what would you pick me up in? <laughs> Case closed. I don't know what I'd do if you ever started dating my brother. Is it possible to faint from embarrassment? Why can't Jenny look past all my flaws and see the real me? Yeah, you're as suave as anyone. Yes! Free chocolate! Maybe it's my lucky day after all. No! Oh. Hey! You have been chosen. You have been chosen? Whatever happened to excuse me or even out of my way? Can we please go get some lunch now? If I don't get some food soon, I'm going to start eating my human shell. Mm. Uh. Next. That'll be five bucks. Huh? Maybe that guy who bought me stuck it in my pocket. Weird. He forgot to write anything on it. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Uh, I didn't order dessert. It's on the house, Martin. Next. So, where's my dessert? Somewhere between not happening and dream on. That'll be five bucks. Oh. If I ever meet the dude who invented trigonometry, he's getting a serious nuggy. Huh? To convert degrees to radians, you have to multiply by pi and divide by 180. Really? Oh, thanks. You totally saved me from a migraine. Uh, who exactly are you? Uh, do you work for NASA or something? Nope. Just someone who wants to help a fellow student. Uh, hey, you, you forgot your keys. I don't know what you're talking about, Martin. They must be yours. Whoa! Now this is what I call an awesome ride! Cool! It's even got my initials on it! Martin? <laughs> is this your car? It's got my name on it. Don't try fooling me, Martin. I can see through your schemes from a mile away! How about a lift home? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> oh, free ice cream, a sports car, help with my math? Oh, this is all too weird. This letter has to be part of it. So I'm gonna read you if it takes all night. No piece of paper is gonna get the best of Martin Mystery. Martin Mystery. Meet beneath the clock at midnight. Signed, The Bones. Acolyte mystery? The Bones? What is this? Hmm, only one way to find out. And I've only got five minutes! something. Martin? Ah, Jared! Um, hi. Uh, I'm just 
just uh, out for a walk. Did, Did you, you get, get a letter? letter? Yes. yes. So what's with all the free stuff? Yeah. Oh, what kind of car did you get? <gasps> you know what? This is stupid. I've got early practice tomorrow. Free dessert or not, I'm going to bed. <laughs> what is this place? Maybe they can answer that. Whoa! Electrokinesis! Cool! Glowing ruins? Even cooler! Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are fellow students of Torrington Academy. You two have been chosen as prospects. To become members of The Bones. A venerable secret society with almost limitless power. Yeah, nice try, guys. You must have mistaken me for some sucker who'd fall for this kind of lameness. <laughs> Telekinesis, too! Oh, you guys have it all! Does that come with membership? <laughs> all this, and much more. <laughs> Whoa! Sweet! Sign me up! Yeah! I'm in. Not yet. The two of you must pass an initiation to see if you have what it takes to become a member of the Bones. And once a member, you are a member forever. We will contact you when it is time. say you're not cool, but you're not cool. I'm gonna be eating my lunch over here from now on, so feel free to eat yours somewhere else. Oh, hey, Billy. Aren't you eating lunch with Martin? No, he's acting kind of weird today. Huh, he looks like the same old Martin to me. <laughs> Martin, I was just wondering, you know, if you're <laughs> free tonight. For you, sure. I'll be at your place at eight. Mm. Later, sweet cheeks. Ah! Okay, check that. This calls for an intervention. There is no way I'm letting Martin date Jenny. Martin, listen to me, mister. If you think I'm gonna sit by while you get all lovey-dovey with Jenny, you're totally mistaken. Do not interfere with the process, or else. What is going on here? It is time. You will be tested. Succeed, and limitless power will be yours. Fail, and you will know only darkness. What do I have to do? Make your way through the labyrinth. When you reach the other side, you will be one of us, a true bonesman. That's it? Huh. I've had tougher quarterback sacks. If you know a better way to figure out what's happening to Martin, I'm all ears. P.U. Smells like boy. Mmm, pizza. Uh, that pizzeria went out of business two years ago. 
He left his U-watch behind. He never leaves his U-watch behind. Why would someone scan a blank piece of paper? Meet beneath the clock at midnight. Who are the bones? The bones, an ancient and power-hungry cult linked to a number of strange disappearances. Legend says they're ruled by a monster that grants superhuman powers, but at the cost of your free will. Free will? Uh, that's important, right? Uh, yeah. Martin's got himself wrapped up in something bad this time. Diana, I was expecting Agent Mystery. Uh, well, we're uh, apartment watching for him. Never mind. You two will do fine. A student from your school was just reported missing. That's Jared. He's been hanging out with Martin. He's not the only one missing. There's a whole bunch of disappearances over the years. Could they all be linked to the bones? The bones? Uh, fill you in later, Mom. We need to find Martin fast. I knew Martin borrowed my MP3 player. What's better looking, the car or my reflection? <sighs> there he is. That must be one of them. Come on. Your turn to be tested. These bone guys are snatching people right off campus. There has to be a secret tunnel or something around here. Didn't that note on Martin's computer say something about the clock tower? Good work, junior agent. <laughs> okay, so all I have to do is make it through, and then I'm a full bonesman with the powers and the cool hood and everything, right? Uh, quick question. What if I'm not found worthy? I see. Fair enough. Martin! Wait! Don't do it. These guys are serious trouble. They've brainwashed you. Whoa! Hold it! Getting creepy eyes was not part of the deal. There is no going back. You will take the test. Uh, uh no thanks. Uh, I forgot to study. Martin, catch! <laughs> you watch activated. You guys are finished! <laughs> I'll take the test together! <sighs> At least we're away from those guys. Ah! On second thought, maybe they weren't so bad after all. These runes must have something to do with finding the way out of here. For example, there has to be something about this creepy symbol that makes it different from all the others. How can you tell? All the symbols down here are creepy. Well, there are levels of creepiness. Uh, for example, this symbol isn't nearly as creepy as this. Horrific monster! Good. 
powerful too. Billy, I need to get to the end of the maze. And I've got a feeling these ruins are the key. It's so dark down here I can hardly see them. Dark? The ruins in the chamber were glowing. You want activated. Eye cutter selected. levitation thing. It would have made it easier to get out of bed on weekends. But how did you resist the creature's mind control? Oh, I just focused on something so confusing that the creature couldn't take over my mind. What was that? Trigonometry. <laughs> it's done, right? <laughs> Diana! Uh, what happened? Uh, did you defeat the creature? Oh, you should have seen it. Martin used the creature's own powers against it. Of course! That's where the creature got its powers! What? The creature needed servants to bring victims into the maze. The more people it absorbed, the more powerful it got. And the more powerful it got, the more it needed people to be lured into the maze. And that's why it started a cult. <gasps> uh, question. Is the ground shaking or is that just my headache? <gasps> the maze is collapsing! This way! <coughs> What's going on? You don't remember? Uh, we woke up in this weird tunnel just as it was falling apart. Well, it's obvious. You must have all been sleepwalking. And you should really get back to your room before anybody notices you're missing. Huh? Uh -huh. Well, I should get to bed, too. I've got another date with Jenny tomorrow. Just when I thought the nightmare was over. I'm telling you, Di, it's like he's a totally different person. Come on, Jenny, we're talking about Martin here. Diana! I'm dating your brother, and that's that. He's a new man, and just my type. Now, if he'd just get here already. Uh, hey, Jenny. <sighs> Oh, quick, put this on. We're gonna be late for the all-night zombie gore fest at the multiplex. All-night zombie fest? No, all-night zombie gore fest. <laughs> oh, and how much money do you have on you? I'm running a little short, so you'll need to pony up for popcorn tonight. Or I guess I could just get it off the floor like I usually do. <laughs> Ugh, forget it! I knew this couldn't last! If I ever see your face again, it'll be too soon! Okay, so uh, how about next Tuesday, then? <laughs> Wednesday? Thursday? <laughs> this is what I call a happy ending. Uh, is that a no? 